Um, and you said Jesus prayed a prayer that if he is my will, um, if he is my will, yeah, let God's will be done. I am very confusion. I, I will not say that I'm confused, but for anybody that wants to ask such questions, so that I'll be able to defend it. We said Jesus Christ is God, and God is, um, um, yes, sir. So now, um, point two says in Greek it is called theophenia, meaning the exhibition of God. Or are you seeing it in your book? Yes. Or a vision of God. B. Appearance of God. C. Manifestation of God. Or that it is. Etc. You get it now. Hmm? The vision of God. What you can see for that moment. You get it. Or the appearance. Your appearance. I've never seen your spirit before. But this is your appearance of, your, of you inside. You get it. I've never seen you before. I'm just seeing your body. Or the manifestation. Yes, you get it. So now... English call it the Theophany of God. Theophany, okay. God Almighty is, God Almighty, the Father, is purely and completely a spirit. Now, let's let somebody open to John 4, 23 to 24. Please, we need, we need to have somebody that... Just say the Bible verse, two seconds. Amen. John 4, 23 to 24. Okay, please be fast. John 4, 23 says, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the, thi- when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. 24 said, God is a spirit, and they a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. That place explains itself. You don't need any further explanation. That means you, if, if you want to worship God, you need to worship God in spirit. Eh? Because God himself is a spirit. You get it? So let's move on. Christ is the image of the invisible God. We have already explained that part. The invisible God dwell in Christ for everlasting to everlasting. So let's, let's open to Isaiah 66 verse 1. Leave the John part. That, pl- that Isaiah really... Okay, anybody? Isaiah 66, verse 1. Please, everybody. Okay. Isaiah 66, verse 1 says, Thus says the Lord, the heaven is my throne. The heaven is my throne. And the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that you build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? Thank you. The heaven is God's um, throne, while the earth is God's footstool. Then where do you expect God to stay? Where do you want to build for God to stay? Can God come and stay in number 13 at the table? No? This place will be... So, ah. Only God finger will only be here, sure. Only God finger. Because somebody that, yes, is too big. God is too big. So, um, let's go to the next one. By Christ being sent into the world physically, God was in the world physically. You get it? By Christ being sent into the world physically, God was in the world physically by revealing 
Christ, his internal image, to be touched, felt, and associate with man as man. Any? It's clear, Abby. Mommy? It's... Ma? Is, it, is everything okay? Okay. So, um, the second side, he became the first born son of Virgin Mary. He became the senior brother to James, Jude, Simon, Joseph, and sisters. You get it? Jesus Christ is not the only son of Mary. You know, some, some people love argument. Maybe anywhere in your workplace, you'll say, ah, now, now you know God passed. Oh, yeah, answer this one. No, not be Jesus be the only son of Mary, you say. No, it's not. It's not the only, ah, what happened? You know, all this kind of argument. So now, but normally the Bible does give us the full details. If the person argues too much, you can just open the Bible for him. It's in Acts. Acts, where before the Pentecost, they, when the Holy Ghost came upon them. There's no time for that one, sir. Maybe you can. I told you guys to be reading Bible, Shibi. Who read Acts? Nobody. Where do you start from? Matthew. Nobody read the Bible last week. Where do you read? You want to start from the beginning. <laughs> okay. So, he became the second cousin to John the Baptist, true Mary the True Mary and Elizabeth, who we are cousins, okay? God is the spirit or life in Christ. You get it? Just like when we are saying the spirit is the one who is moving my hand like this. So if the spirit goes, my body will just fall on the floor like, as if it just a container I just kicked. You understand? So this, the life in Christ is God. You get it? So, Christ is the internal body of the invisible God. Christ is the internal body of the invisible God. Because you cannot see God. God is a spirit. Okay. If you see Christ, either physically or by faith, you have seen God. What do you understand about this place? Have you seen Christ physically? Have you seen him by faith? How do you see him by faith? Okay, let's open to somewhere. This when we are when we are rehearsing on this, I asked the question also. So they explained it for me. Let's open to Hebrews eleven verse one. Hebrews eleven verse one. So I don't want to waste any time. I'm already there. So that play, okay. I want everybody to be there also. Hebrews eleven one. Hebrews eleven verse one. Are you there? Are you there? You know the Bible, Jesus. Are you there? There. Is everybody there? Wait, mom is not there. You don't have Bible. Okay. Let's go on. Okay. That place says, now, let's read together. One, two, go. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hmm? Balance. You know balance. We'll go another one. Put, put your fingers on that side. This one will balance everything up. Let's open to Romans. Romans 10, verse 17. Are you there? Who is there? Who is there? Who is there? First, 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 first. Who is first? Yeah, there. Uh, verse 17. Romans 10, verse 17. 
she's there. Yes, who is there again? Yeah, yeah, okay. Who is there again? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> God, sorry. Okay, um, the place said that everybody should read together. So, f- <laughs> comment by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The balance. We are going to link everything up. John 1 1. We are going to link everything up, please. John 1 verse 1. Isn't this going to now it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And the word was what? God. If you go for that, it came to a place that it said, and that word was made flesh. So now, let's link it. This word that, is, that was Christ. So now, when that word, I speak that word to you, faith comes. And now that faith that comes gives you the hope of, of substance, of things hoped for, not seen. You get it? So now, through faith, you can see Christ. Now, let me give an example. You have, when you're still in primary school, you have a dream, I'm going to become a doctor in your head. You see yourself with a lab coat, you are rushing to a world, world one. Okay, let's do something with this patient. Da, 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 da. That gives you joy. You have the dream in your head. Hmm? Yes, the dream in your head. So now, when that word is spoken to you, which is the word of God, you get it? Which is the word of God? It's that, that means you have a picture in your head like something ahead. Because faith is just like a line, a straight line. You just keep going, going. No distraction. You understand? Because you are seeing something from up there. You just keep walking towards it. Walking towards it. You understand? A faith without no work is dead. You understand? So you just keep walking towards it. Walking towards it. Because you saw something up there. You get it. Okay, so that place, you don't balance now. Mm, you still have any comma? What? If you have a question, write it down after you ask it. So, that's why I say Christ and God are inseparable. Christ and God are inseparable. Is he separatable? It's separable now. Separa what? Yes, yeah, separable. You get it. You understand that part, I mean. So now, God and Christ together are the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Hmm? Man is made after the likeness of God. We have explained that part. We are saying that we are just like God, but we are not God, please. You should understand that. We are just like God, but you are not God. And I say, you are like Obama, but you are not. Do you understand that the meaning of Christ and God are inseparable? Did you get it? That Christ and God are inseparable. Uh, can you ask them whether they... Put a little bit of light like that. So this place is. Let's open to that Bible verse that was given there, which is John ten thirty. John chapter ten verse thirty. Ta 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 ta. Thank you. Ah, you are too fast. Let everybody open it. Okay, Jonah. Where is your Bible? Oh yeah, use my own. You need to be part of the class. Open Bible, Jonah. It's clear, Abby. So I, it's clear. Yes, they are one. Okay, what number can divide one? Huh? 
So when, yes, no, no, nothing can separate them. They are one. Christ said it by himself. If you, if one. Yes, nothing can separate it. You understand? That means we what? have one. God. Christ is God. Thank you. Christ is God. Okay. Mm, now, we are here. We are finished with all these points, 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 points. Are you with the book? Okay. So, at a time, Christ tested his disciples if they knew who was with them. When Philip therefore requested that he showed them the Father, he then questioned them by saying, John 14, 9 to 10, verse 9, Have I been so long time with you, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father, and, ha and how do you say then, show us the Father? You get it? Jonah, stand up. This is Jonathan. Everybody, please, look here. This is Jonathan, isn't it? Jonathan has a spirit inside him. We cannot see Jonathan's spirit. But for now, because we are not God, but we are like God. So for now, as you have seen Jonathan like this, you have also seen the spirit. You get it? Okay, see that. Um, so let's read verse 10. Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The word that I speak unto you, I do not speak of myself, but the Father that dwell in me, he doeth his work. Yeah. That's how it's explain as explain itself. You understand? Because me standing here, I'm not the one talking. Somebody's inside just talking. He's just using this fleshly mouth to talk. So now I'm in this side, body and spirit. Every word which Jesus ever spoke and everything which he ever did while he lived on earth, it was God all along. Though he is manifested image, the person of Christ, Christ is the fleshly body and the bone of God. The body of God is called Christ. The body of God is called what? The body of God is called what? So now if I just meet you on the word I asked to you, what is the body of God called? It's called what? That's what God gave to the name of his body. So John 14, 23. If any man love me, he will keep my word, and my father will love him. And if we will come to him, okay, and we will come to him and make our abode with him. Why saying we? Please, is everybody reading? Why saying we, that is, I and my father will come to make our abode with him. Look at that. The reason is simple. It is one spirit, one spirit, one spirit, one spirit. The completeness of God is Christ in God and God in Christ. Please, dear reader, do not get confused. Yeah, for we are repeating what Christ said in John 10, 37 to 38. Let's read John 10, 37 to 38. Tick tack, tick tack, tick tack. Is there? Okay. If I don't, verse 37, if I don't do the work of my father, do not believe me. But if I do, Though you do not believe me, believe the work that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in the Father. That is where we are going to stop for today. We can't get faster than the other class. Please. That has been our problem since we started. This class will be ahead. This one will be 
are behind. You get it. So apostles say that you should just come into a conclusion of realism. So thank you, thank you. Some chapter are longer than that. So any contribution, but question will be asked generally. Please, questions will be asked generally. Make on no chimney I beg because some people give terrible question. So no, no. <laughs> but our question last Sunday was ah, God will help us. So audio question will be given and everybody will learn from it. But contribution, any contribution. Please, Apostle. So now, who know about the story about a king with his four wives? Four wives. A king with his four wives. Let me tell you. Okay. The king has four wives. Hmm? So, one, the fourth wife was the beautifulest, like the most finest. Most beautiful. Let me even put next because anytime the king wants to go to another kingdom, he take along that wife to show off, like, yes, this is my wife. I have, yes, it's pride. So the third wife was the one that anytime he has trouble, he goes to that one. That one gave him good advice. The story will end. You will learn a lesson from it. So that one gave him good advice. You know. So now, the third one, that one was like, tink, 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 tink. The, um, the second, sorry. The second wife was, tink, what was the second wife like? The second wife was, let me see, that one was also beautiful, but that one was like the king's wife, obedient, you understand, just herself. Okay, sorry, the king have three wives. I don't know where I brought the many one from. You are reading it. Let me see. Thank you. It is the story. Let him tell us the story. Okay. Everybody will hear me. What uh, the Holy Ghost power? What I understand from this story is that the king got married to four wives, and he loved this. He loved all the wives. So one day the king was very very ill, and he called on the, the fourth wife and asked the wife. The same thing as it now. So he called on the he called on the fourth wife and ask that if if I die will you follow me to afterwards after life and so the wife replied and said that, he, that with, she replied with sorry and said she, she cannot do that yeah so let me just cut the story short he called all the wife he could, no one could follow him. So what happened was that he had a voice. He had a voice. Yes. It's not. Yeah. The the fact that was coming and said, "I will follow you anywhere you go to." We only call the third, the second, and uh, the the fourth. The fourth, the third, and the second.
the first one that is the next thing was that he heard a voice that I will follow you to wherever you go to, even afterwards. So that was where, that is what, that so now let me bring the point out of that. The first wife is your body. You want to treat your body flashy clothes, you want to show off the 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 fourth wife is your body. You want to just show off yourself. You like to put nice earring. You like to do nice hair. You just love wearing good clothes on just your body. The second wife, the third wife, was money. Money. You get it. You do anything for your wealth. When, once you acquired wealth, you guess that you have reached there. But that wealth will not follow you to afterlife. Now, the second wife was your friends. They can be there for you any time of your life, but they will not follow you to afterlife. Now, who is the first wife? <laughs> Thank you, it's your soul. It's your soul. It's your, the, fir the first wife is your soul. You get it? The first life, um, wife is your soul. Mm? So that soul, you don't give him listening ears. You don't care about your soul. Sometimes you have a, a thin voice talking from you that don't do it. You just, just get out. Get out. You keep on doing it. Your friends, all your friends have Gucci bag, Gucci bag, Gucci bag. You're using just one stupid handbag. Okay, you're using just one stupid handbag and you just, you just want to just flow. You know, there's a saying that only the dead fish goes with the flow. You understand? You just want to flow. You just want to blend in. But you are not giving ears to your soul. You are, you are not. Sometimes you should just sit down and just think. You hear he speaks. There's a, there's a voice inside. You understand? There's a voice inside. That voice speaks. You get it? The voice speaks. He's with you all the days of your life. Some of your primary school friends now, it might be 25 years, you have not seen them. Okay, it's not all of us that is old here, sorry. Maybe 10 years or 5 years, you have not seen them. But that soul is still with you. Still talking to you. Telling you, don't do this, don't do that. But still yet, you don't give him listening ears. You just keep, get out, get out, get out, get out. So that story is like taking us back to what is with us from our childhood and will be with us till eternity. You get it? Okay, let's stand up and pray. Was the story a good story? I don't like the story. I hate kings. Okay, let's pray. <laughs> okay, let's pray. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, King of Glory, I thank you for this class, for how you have helped us. No, let don't be the one to pray. Somebody should pray. Who wants to pray? You. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Heavenly Father, Lord, we bless your name. We thank you for this class. We thank you for your understanding. We thank you for not letting us pass without giving us an understanding. We bless your holy name, Lord Jesus. Father, King of glory, Lord, as we're going to listen to the apostles to get more enlightened, Father, Lord, open our inner ear to understand. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, everybody should go there. If they call for contribution, please do it. Do it. And they say, Class C, come outside. Some of you, some of you start stammering. I don't like it too. goes inside.
So begin to pray and thank the Lord. Ask the Lord to bless us in this segment. Prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Begin to pray. Pray for understanding. Pray for the help of God. Prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Prayer, 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 prayer. Let the Lord take over this session. Pray in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you lazy to pray? Are you people lazy to pray? You prayed and stopped. But the Lord said, pray and he said, uh, uh, pray without, without ceasing. ceasing. But you prayed and ceased. Now, wow, is that how you're going to do things? Um, okay, thank the Lord for answering your prayer. Pray in Jesus' name. So, what are In the name of Jesus Christ, you pray. Amen. Now open your hands. Almighty God, they have opened their hands before you to be blessed. So I pray that you bless those who open the hands or upon their hands. So that uh, because with the hand, somebody can be useful. Without hand, somebody is useless almost. A complete person is a person that has hands. So bless their hands. If we they carry the Bible and flip open the pages of the Bible, let it be through the grace of God that um, they will experience the grace of God this night uh, to the glory of God. In Jesus' name we pray. And amen. And God bless you. All right. God bless as you sit down. Um, <clears throat> we are going to begin without delays, but we are running behind the time now. We're supposed to have started in the past 10 minutes in this segment here. Uh, there were some set of people that did not um, 
that were sent back because of time. Yes, sir. Mm, so let them come out. You know yourself, so come out. Go, okay, go to the left now. All right. You know what we were doing last, what we were doing last uh, Sunday? Do you know? What were we doing? Yeah, we're talking about what you understand. Put that in on your mouth very well. We're saying what we understand. Okay, very nice. Okay. So, okay. The Holy Ghost power. Very, uh, you know, briefly, should be about, it can't be more than two minutes. So. Okay. I jotted down some points and um, I will read it out. Okay, first, I understand that the secret things belongs to only to God. And it takes revelation for it to be revealed to men. Because it says, um, know what you are talking okay um what i understand i understand that the secret things belong only to god how can you explain that okay because um it takes only revelation for god to show us his secret things because the which secret which of secret the things are you talking about which secret things okay things that god himself can reveal only to man we cannot we cannot see it or we cannot know it without the grace of God. Only, only by his grace and his mercy, he can reveal those things to us. Are you talking of secret things in your house or in the Bible no, or somewhere? No, no, secret things of those mysteries that belong only to him. Oh, in the word of God? Yes, sir. Oh, that those secret things belong unto God. Can you give us one example? If uh, you understand? Um, one example is um, I will use myself as example. I will use my life. Um, the things of the world, the uh, wickedness of the Lord. We cannot, me, myself, I don't know what the enemy is planning for me. I just wake up in the morning, I sleep, I wake up and by his grace. So it can only take is messy. Maybe if I pray, if I fast, um, he reveal those things to me and tell me what to do. You are 25% right. 25% right. <laughs> it's because of your, your analogies that uh, brought you to that level. Do you think what you said is what the Bible is saying? Um, I want to know more what the Bible is saying, sir. Okay. Now, the secret things belonged, belonged unto God. Do you know where this, this, this scripture is in the Bible? Um, I... I at um, Psalm 25, verse 14. I think we can find it there. It's not only there. It's also in Deuteronomy. It's just in many places. The secret thing, that one you read in Psalm 25, verse 14. It's not what you're saying. See, the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. That's where you quoted. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Then what is that secret of the Lord that is with them that fear him? You are talking of your dream and you fast and pray. Uh, that you, that, that's where you, you well, yeah, next person, please, go, go back to, uh, go back. Where, where are you? Where is that your register to confirm whoever uh, answers and uh, the tickings you are going to tick, uh, give to that name? Come on now. I'll go for is Jonathan, RBC 11. Uh, what I understand from last week, uh, what I understand from last week, 
um, teaching was about the 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 cloud, the whole the cloud from heaven, the heavenly cloud that came that overshadowed Peter, James, and John. That when they were when they were trying to build a tree tabernacle for um, Christ, most, um, Elijah and Moses, they were, then the heavenly cloud came and overshadowed them. When that cloud came, the <coughs> cloud came by unknown. It was from Christ. The cloud came from and it came from the heavenly places. So th when the, and the voice came out and sp and speak that this is his holy son, in whom is well pleased. Then, after some time, the cloud left, which no one knows where the, where the cloud went back to. What did you understand by that, my friend? I understand that the, the, I, st I understand that the cloud is Christ, and also Christ is um, God, because God is also in Christ. What benefit do you derive from the overshadowing cloud? What benefits? What does does it associate, what do you associate to it? How does it benefit you? The, um, as, um, I benefit as when the cloud overshadowed them, was trying to make them know that there is no other Christ. There is no one that, is, that, is, that can be like Christ because it's his only son. <coughs> uh, my friend. You try what you are. What I, I heard from you is story, just story, story, and that story gives you fifteen and a half percent. Go back to your seat, uh, please. Uh, are you there? So be very attentive, so that you know who has come, who has not come. Okay, and so when the next person will. Before you go back to your seat, you go to the minister, then he will give you your pass mark. Yeah, go ahead. The Holy Ghost power, the kingdom power. My name is Dairo Senior, RBC 24. What I understood here is that when you are reconnected with God, and if you are reconnected with God, the, the people you live like the past life with, they will be, they will be for, as in whenever they see you coming, they will just be amused and be doubting you because they know that you have been living a kind of life with them before. But since you are reconnected with God, you are, you are totally free. Let's say, for example, if I'm living a life on the street and I got reconnected with God, those people that I'm living that fake life with will be, is it not this diary of diaries today? Leave him and we'll still come back. But when, you, when I'm reconnected truly by God, by Christ and God in, in me, all those things, I'm, I'm free from those, what, whatever they are saying. All right. I think you got 89%. Uh, go through the minister there. The Holy Ghost power. The next person should go behind the camera. Yeah, go ahead. My name is Isa Fibo. I'm RBC 27. What I understand was that um, our first lecture was we where we are spirits in Jesus Christ, like we are in Christ before God gave us the body. So we in Christ, Christ is the heavenly place. So we originated from the heavenly place and we are meant to go back to the heavenly place to sit with Christ Jesus. You got 91%. Go there. The Holy Ghost power, the kingdom power, I'm RBC 21. So what I understand by the heavenly place, the heavenly place is the Christ Jesus. Man originates first in this most glorious heavenly realm. Without body, the heavenly place inside Christ Jesus made the natural cloud we to see today on the sky. The sun that is the supernatural sun made the natural sun. I move further to mind to seven verse two and he said that and was transfigured before them and his face did shine as the sun and his raiment was white as the light that's what i understand sir what did you understand what i understand is that when you are in the christ jesus 
the light of God will shine on you and definitely you focus on what you are doing in life. When you are in Christ Jesus, Jesus the, the, light the light will shine on you. Will shine on you. And you focus for what you are doing in Christ. And you be focused. Mm -hmm. Because you are in Christ. Christ Jesus. Okay, take fifty five percent. Go over there. The Holy Ghost power. The kingdom power. My name is Stephen, RBC six. Um last week we learned about the heavenly places. We understood that the heavenly places is Christ Jesus, where we originated from. Also, we learned that the devil disconnected us from the heavenly places through Adam. So God sent the heavenly place himself to come and bring us back into the heavenly places. Okay, as long as somebody does not know the Lord, how can you pass this message? Because we are correct. Everything you said is correct. But you know, uh, young stars like you have very sharp brain. So you have, you have captured it as a recitation. Now, how can you pass it on to somebody? Yeah, I'll tell him that, <clears throat> first yes. of that where he came from is not from his village or his town. That the Bible, that we came from Christ. God created us in Christ. That's where we came from. So this Christ is the heavenly place. We are supposed to go back to the heavenly place. But since the devil, through Adam, uh, Eve disconnected us from the heavenly place, Christ now came to bring us back and save us so, so that we'll go back into the heavenly place where we came from. All right. You are very correct. Uh, to me, I will give you 90%, but... I don't know whether you are able to pass this in on to somebody. That's the next thing left with you because people are going to go for evangelism a certain time. That's a certain point. You go out and come back with experience. Okay, go across the camera and meet the minister there. Yes. The Holy Ghost power. My name is Sister Mary RBC 44. So what I understand is that Jesus Christ is God himself. And Christ Jesus is the manifestation of God. Because we cannot see God physical. He manifests through Christ. So we can be able to communicate with him. Oh, I also understand that we were originated in Christ Jesus Christ. Before, before, before I used to think that it was when God created man, you know, like in the, book, in the Bible book of Genesis, that he said, let's make man in our own image. I thought that, that that was the day God created man. But now I come to understand that before that day, I was already existing in the womb of God. And God bring me out. That, that day he formed the body. He was for me, he bring me out into this world for a purpose, for assignment. And that assignment is to be holy. That assignment is to, is to live pure so that if I am staying, I cannot, if I die in sin, he will not receive me back again. So I understand that it's now that my life, that I'll have to make up my mind whom to follow, whether devil or Satan. But I've come to know that I am, I am the image of God. The image is not this flesh. So before I used to think that when the Bible said the image of God, image of God, I think that is this flesh, but I come to understand that that image of God is holiness. And no, if I am polluted, I cannot return back to my original image. The Holy Ghost power. Mm, you, you're okay. There is anointing in you. I can see anointing. Uh, the thing is, um, I wish you had stopped before the last sentence. I don't know that you are the image of God. How did you become the image of God now? Is that what the Bible says? Um, please, if, if anyone is in the control room, please give us, give us um, a Colossians chapter number 1, verses 14 and 15. Colossians chapter number 1. Look, at, look on your screen. I want you to read it yourself. 
Ready? Read verse 14 first. Read. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of our sins. Even the forgiveness of sin. Verse 15. Who is the image of God, invisible God, the firstborn of every creation? Who is the image of the invisible God? That's you say, no, you are correct. You are correct that God is invisible. You made that statement. Okay, go back to Second Corinthians chapter number 4. We are going to read two verses, 3 and 4. Second Corinthians, look at that. Okay. But if our gospel be held, that be hidden, be hidden, or hid, okay, that's the same meaning. Mm. If our gospel is hidden, eh, you can say is hidden. Just bring it into modern understanding. Okay. If our gospel is hidden, go ahead. Is hidden to them that are lost. Is hidden to them that are lost. Verse four. Go ahead. In whom the God of this world that small letter or big letter small letter very good as the devil in the who in whom the god of this world yeah has blindfolded has blinded the the mind of them yes. which believe not yes let the light of god let the light yes. of the glorious gospel of christ who is the image of god should shine upon them, should shine unto them. So what do you, who is the image of God there? Christ. Okay, show us the scripture where you are the image of God. Hmm. Hmm? Okay, so that's it. So you have learned this one now. That you now know that you are not the image of God. Uh, Okay, we'll give you 87% because the first area was very good. You got it very right. All right, go back to the minister there. Yes. The Holy Ghost power. My name is Mala Joy. I will be C. Put that in very well for your mind. I will be C09. What I understood for the previous lecture is that what disconnected Adam and Eve in the garden was not the food they ate, but disobedience. The heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Man originated first in these heavenly places without body. Like man was a spirit living inside of Christ, even before the foundation of the world was laid, even before the world was existing, man was a spirit living inside of God before he was given his body. Also, what I understood is before God created the heaven and earth, God Almighty dwelt in these heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And also, the natural man cannot understand God with mortal knowledge. It takes revelation to understand God because God is a mystery. Okay, and the one you say is enough. Um, the first one you said was what? What disconnected Adam and Eve in the garden was not the food they ate, but disobedience. You are very correct. So we'll give you 88%. 88%. Now, Holy Ghost Power. What I understand, my name is Tommy Okia from, uh, Tommy Okia, via RBC 12. What I understand last week was. How can we, who are not from your village, pronounce that word? Tokia Tommy. Tokia Tongue. Tommy, Tommy. Tommy. Yes. That is stomach. <laughs> is it T-O-M-O-M-I? -M 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 yes, sir. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So well, what I understand last week was God is the original image of God is Christ. And we have God and man abiding together, which is called the heavenly places. And the heavenly places is in Christ Jesus which consists on a peculiar, glorious cloud. Mm. 
you are correct, you know, in what you said. And uh, mostly because you are not looking into your book and uh, reading what you copied. So it's like what you said is in your heart. It's like you got it. So that's what gave you 90%. Okay. The Holy Ghost power. Um, in the course of our class, I, I meant to understand that man, the origin of man comes from Christ, which is God. And man has always been in God before the foundation of the world was laid. Now, when God made form man in Genesis, he formed man from the dust, and then he breathed in life into man, and man became a living soul. Uh, as time goes on, man was disconnected from God through the, the fruit that was eaten in the Garden of Eden, which was caused by disobedience. Now, when man disobeyed God, God made another plan to redeem man back to himself. He sent Christ into the world to redeem us. He redeemed us and we became saved. Now, the only way God could be on earth is to host is for him to allow man to be a host previously christ before the foundation of the world christ hosted man man was a spirit so man was in christ christ hosted man but on earth we have to host christ because he's a spirit he cannot be seen physically although he came on earth and was made flesh but when he went back to heaven he came back as a spirit so man became a host for god and the only way man can go back to god which is the heavenly places like we've been saying is for man to is for man to have christ in him praise god Who was your instructor? Um, this man. Who? This brother. The one on? No, the first one. The first one? Yes. Okay. All right. You got 96%. So go over there. So, uh, today we have four classes. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So, having four classes, we let's begin from A. Is that correct? A. Who is the A here? You are A. Okay, those that studied in A. Do they know they studied in A? Do they know they studied in class A? Okay. Those that studied in A, please, can you come forward today? Can you rise up so they will see you? Yeah, those that studied in A. So by the time you stand, no, uh, by the time you are standing, then they will. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Do, so you can come where they will see. Maybe they have not seen you. Do, do you know you studied in A? Come here. So when we call next time, you have to call, stand up, and call your class. Uh, Okay, stand there, stand there. Uh, this, a, a, this A is a big class. Do you really divide the numbers evenly? Did you divide the number evenly? Not yet. It's not yet even, okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you have to balance it evenly. Yes, gentlemen, come here. Yeah. My name is Austin Philip. What I understand from today's lecture is that God is a spirit. He came to this earth as a form of flesh, which is Jesus Christ, to save mankind. And I also understand that God Almighty does not change whatever he altered out of his mouth. So that's what I understand from today's lecture. Who advise you? Who is that person who persuaded you to join the, to go for baptism? Tell me the truth. Don't hide it. Who is the person that persuaded you? Nobody. Who is the person that encouraged you? Let me use that word. Nobody. Think about what I'm saying. 
He never discussed with anybody. Is that what you want to say? Eh? Mm, mm. Nobody. Nobody. I don't remember. Nobody. You don't remember? Yes. He discussed with someone concerning this baptismal class. Um, my mom. Your mom? Yes. What did she say to you? She had to go for it. You say you should go for it? Yes. What do you understand by persuasion? Um, so when somebody persuades you that I'm telling you to do something, that's persuasion. Yes, now. Your mother persuaded. E encouraged you. Yes. That's a persuasion. She persuaded you. You felt your mother was saying correctly that what she was saying was right. Yes. Uh, so that's why you came. Do you know why I'm asking you that? No, sir. What's your name? Austin Philip. Hmm? Austin Philip. Austin Caleb. Philip, Philip, Philip. Yes. You are Austin, you are Philip. Are you an Englishman? Yes, ma. Yes, sir. English, huh? Eh? <laughs> Austin Philip. Ijor, <laughs> <laughs> Ijor from Ijor. Yeah, Austin Philip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, these are good names. Uh, what you need to do, um, I'm not going to pronounce your percentage today. Just go there. Put hysteric on, on him. The, the truth is that <laughs> is um, is the Lord speaking. He I have not given him RBC number. So he when he came, he came, his attendance was a bit late. So I told him we have finished giving the number. But it's like this persuasion you said now. I've, I've been seeing him. You know, he's like pushing himself. You know, he, he was here since that day. He will come. He will come. So, but see now, he has not gotten any RBC number. It's, you know, so, you know, this is this is a Holy Ghost place. It's not an ordinary place. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can hear his testimony. I, uh, I don't know. You ask him, he will tell you that mm -hmm. he never mentioned. Have you mentioned no, it to sir. anybody? No, I've not. To nobody uh, but the Holy Ghost knows everything so uh, put down his name put a hysteric there okay sir. I'll go there the Holy Ghost power the kingdom power the kingdom power the Holy Ghost power my name is Amitio Biofina RBC 23. What I understand today, lecture, is so many. Uh, Christ uh, is only begotten Son of God, the Father. Praise the Lord. And um, all things that happened about the uh, the Greek, the appearance of God, manifestation of God, deity, and so on. Now, in the first place, um, Christ, the only begotten Son of God, the Father, is the physical mani uh, manifestation of God. We live in Christ ever before the creation of this world. Now I understand fully that we have been in existence even before, but in Christ, before the God molded us and sent us into the world. And we are in the world, but um, the world we are in was polluted, and Christ sent back to reconcile us with our God where we originally come out. Praise the Lord. You know that <clears throat> to initiate your statement, right? Thank you. The it was very important you have known you have but remark that thing which you said. Remark it in your heart. Yes. 
very important. Thank you. Now you have got to understand that Christ was Christ before anything. Yes. Okay. And that you have been created, not your flesh, but you as the spirit, yes. have been created in Christ, mm -hmm. who is also a spirit, mm -hmm. in his spiritual body. Yes. You were there, but you don't have your own body. So you were in Christ without your body. Yes. You know, that's very important to know yes. because that is what is going to help every one of you, you know, uh, in this baptismal class. It will help you to know what you are doing or what you are about to do. And when you are baptized, you know why you are baptized. Uh, are you understanding? I follow. Yeah, why you are baptized and why you are baptizing. Like you had some, uh, some of you here uh, who have just gone in, they, they clearly said that when they were in Christ spiritually, they were not defiled, they were not polluted, they were not stained, they were mm -hmm. clean. Yes. But one of, one of them used the word dis <coughs> disconnected. One used the word disconnected. So that when they came into this world due to ignorance, we all were disconnected. Yes. Yes, all of us. Even, see, even as Adam and Eve ate their fruit and they live in their sin, and you have a family that is born again before they start having children, like a mother and father that are <coughs> really truly born again. Yes. and feel with the Holy Ghost yes. before they got married and have children yes. and bring up their children in that way. <clears throat> and their children will, excuse me, Quite. <clears throat> their children will be far from connecting with Adam completely because Christ now, who came to restore us, became the last Adam. Yes. Yeah, he's now the last Adam. Adam, yes. So now, all of you, look at you, there, what you are doing. You are distracted. In this testament, in this uh, generation, right? Right. So, the, we, we don't talk of Adam of the Garden of Eden. No more. Now listen, mm -hmm. why we are talking of Adam of the Garden of Eden is because what Adam did is still affecting people today. Yes. We are supposed to be talking of the last Adam. Adam, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. That's what we're supposed to be talking. But we, we cannot just be talking only that because the influence of the first Adam is still... It, that is exactly most of these people have committed fornication. Varying. Yes, they have committed fornication. Yes. No matter how young they are and the innocent they are looking. So they are committed fornication. So it is that very, uh, that old Adam, the old man, uh -huh, have brought all this defilement of our spirit, soul, and body. body. So Christ now came <clears throat> to recreate us to become a new man. That's why if any man is in Christ, is a new creature. creature. All things has passed away. Yes. Behold, the new things take place. Good. But it's true. What you're saying is true, you know? Yes. It's exactly like that. Thank you, sir. Nothing less than that. Thank you, sir. The person becomes a new creature. creature. So it's like you have not seen before. Once you become a new creature, you have nothing to do with sin. No sin at all. That is, sin has nothing to do with your mind. It's like you were never... You have never seen before because you have been recreated. So you are not talking of Satan or Adam. You are only talking of Christ and the kingdom. Because yes. that's the influence in your life now. Yes. You understand? I me? follow. Okay. All right. Go there and take 50%. Go over there. Okay. Okay. You can sit down, instructor. At least you have seen the people you instructed. Please come quickly because our time is actually um, running fast. Is the Holy Ghost power?
My name is Iduku Flora, RBC 26. What I understand from today's message is that until you are born by the Spirit, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And when, and when the Spirit of God is in you, when the Spirit of God is in you, all sins are washed away from your life. Every filthiness of the devil has left you and God is dwelling in you. Oh, did you understand what you said? Yes, sir. Say it again one more time. You don't understand that once you are born by the Spirit, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And when the word of God is in you, when God dwells in you, every filthiness of the devil is washed away, and every sin is washed away, and God is dwelling in you. But do you understand what you are saying? Yes, sir. Okay. Go and take 51%. Go over there. The Holy Ghost power. The kingdom power. The kingdom power. The Holy Ghost power. I understood that the meaning of Jesus Christ is hmm? Jehovah is salvation. Yes. So God gave God gave us the name Jesus Christ so that we will not be pronouncing that name Jehovah because the, that name is the name of God. Begin and again. Begin again. I understood that the meaning of Ex Jesus Christ. Excuse me. Your RBC number. Your number. RBC 05. So I understood that the name Jehovah Christ means Jehovah is salvation. So that name Jehovah, we are not supposed to be calling it anyhow because that is the name of God. And normally in this our present world, I, I cannot come and call my daddy um, his real name. That is disrespectful. So God gave us Jesus Christ. So and that is the name that God ordained for us to use in this world. And also I understood that the meaning of that water, because the Bible says that except a man be born of the spirit and of water, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So the meaning of the water is the word of God. So when we, when the word of God is coming our way, he said that the Bible says that we are washed by the word that he has spoken unto us. So the word of God wash is the water that washes us and makes us, makes us clean. And if we are born by that, by the spirit of God and the water. That is when we can enter into the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. So the water is? The word of God. Mm, I think you, you, are, you are in the central. Is that correct? Yes, sir. I wouldn't give you the whole percentage, but you, you got everything. I just uh, begin somewhere. Okay, go and get a 67%. Go over there. Yeah, is he, is uh, he got everything accurate? Yes. The Holy Ghost power. The kingdom power. The kingdom power. The Holy Ghost power. What I understand to the message is the invisible God dwells in Christ for everlasting to everlasting. John fourteen verse nineteen. Where is, he where is he dwelling in Christ? Where? The invisible God. He dwells in Christ for everlasting to everlasting. In what part of Christ is he dwelling? In Christ in, in, dwells in Christ Jesus. Well, that's why I say, what side does he occupy in Christ Jesus? Image of your body. In his body. Go and get thirty percent. Go over there. Praise the Lord. The Holy Ghost power. My name is Iwala Chiniwa. I will be C zero one. I understand from today's message that the body God Jesus is Jesus Christ. And this body has been in existence before it manifested physically. I also understand that Jesus Christ is the kingdom of God. And I also understand that until you are born by the Spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom which is Christ. 
I also understand that if any man loves God and accepts God, he will dwell in Christ. He will dwell in Christ. Hmm? Where will you dwell in Christ now? What side of Christ will you dwell? In his body, in his image. How does the place look like? We will dwell in the image of God. I, I'm sure that not only this girl, I'm sure that some of you may be puzzled about that question too if it comes to you. Where in Christ will you dwell? In his image, inside of him. Okay, go and get 50%. Go over there. And uh, be, think of that because I'm going to call you people out again. Think of where Christ dwells, where you dwell in Christ. The Holy Ghost power. The kingdom power. My name is Imala Blessing, RBC08. What I understood for today's lecture is that Jesus Christ is the physical manifestation of God. That is God has only one body, which is Christ Jesus. And what I also understood that Jesus Christ is our only original house, where we all came from, and that same house where we all will return to, the Holy Ghost power. Power. All right, go and get 77%. The Holy Ghost power. My name is Marvelous Jude, RBC 49. From today's lecture, we're giving two outlines. Um, cry, okay. No man had seen God at any time. What I understand from that outline is that God is a spiritual being, so we cannot see him. And the second outline is that, and they saw the God of Israel. They saw um, God because he manifested through flesh which is Jesus Christ. And um, the only body of um, God is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is in God, and God is in Jesus Christ, so they cannot be separated. The kingdom power. Holy Ghost power. Go, on. <clears throat> Go and get 73%. Go there. Holy Ghost power. Kingdom power. A kingdom power. A Holy Ghost power. And what I understood in today's um, teaching, he said that first of all, God is a spirit, but um, he's the image. Christ is the image of the invisible God. So he has to take a body that he can relate with man. So he came through a woman to go through the process of being better than being born into the world, take through the process of growing into a man just to die for us and to you know, pay the price of our sins. And then he talked about um, um, sin coming into the world as a result of disobedience from the first parent, Adam and Eve. And that God has to come down to die for us so that he can reconcile us back to God. You know, and um, that we were existing before the world began. We were existing before the world began, so Christ had to come down to die for us so that we can return back to God and and that's basically what I understood. All right. We we'll give you, let, let's put hysteric. Put hysteric. What? But not get the number, so put hysteric there. Okay. You can go over there. The kingdom power. The Holy Ghost power. And Mary Obodo. Uh, zero seven B uh, S zero seven. Sorry, sir. What I understood today was what I must know. Christ is the Christ is the only begotten Son of God, the Father. He is the physical manifestation of God. And another thing I know in um, First Timothy. Chapter 3, verse 16. God was manifested in the flesh. Hebrew 1, 3. 
Hebrew, Hebrew 1, verse 3, also know him as the express image. Colossians chapter 1, verse 15, the image of the invisible God. And today I learned again that typology of water is the word of God. Okay, go and get John 40. chapter 1. It's all right because of time. Go and get 42%. Now, before we uh, close finally, let's get, is anybody having question from class B? Anybody having question from class B? Any question from class B? All right. Is there any question from class C? Do you really know your classes? Which class? Please, can you come out because of time? Come on. Yes. <clears throat> the Lugos power. The kingdom power. Um, I'm RBC 27 from class C. And there's a point here that says, if you see Christ either physically or by faith, you have seen God. So I want more explanation on that. So many of you have explained it. If you were listening very well. If, as you listen to your instructor, who is the instructor of uh, class B? B. Sorry, C. These ones are from C. Okay, sit down. So if you listen to your instructors in the class and, and someone else comes out from any of the classes and uh, answers your question, you don't need to ask them again. Your question has been answered several times. Ask that question again. If you see Christ either physically or by faith. If you faith, see Christ either physically. Or by faith. Or by faith. Yes. Okay. You have seen God. You have seen God. Yes. So, okay. I, I, it's going to take us time to start answering. The, you have, uh, the question has been answered. You have had people who say that, um, you know, Christ is the body God has. That's the body of God. That image is body. That's the body God has. The only thing that when God came here among us, the human beings, he chose to use the name Jesus, which people have been answering here before he came. You get what I mean? Which people have been answering before he came. People have been answering Jesus. Have you heard that before in our teachings? Yes. Yes. So they've been answering Jesus. So because he came to save man, he used the name of man. He used man's name as a man. That's also the reason why he answers the son of man. But he was God. That is the God we're talking about. No two gods. <laughs> I beg you. Yeah, go, so don't spoil your percentage you got before. No legal power. Um, I'm precious, how be 28. I, I want to ask a question because I, I am confused. In case anybody asks me outside, okay. Jesus prayed a prayer and said when he wants to die, he said, let the will of God be done. I want to know why God, um, Jesus prayed that prayer if, if he is God. We all know that Jesus Christ, <coughs> Jesus Christ is God. So I want to know why he prayed the prayer that let the will of God be done. Yes. That's the mystery we're talking about. Have you read the Bible before to see that Jesus Christ is the everlasting Father? Have you ever seen that in the Bible? Yes, I have. What do you say about that? Is there any other? How many fathers would we have in heaven? Just one, sir. Just one. And that person is who? It's Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> and uh, don't be confused now because Jesus Christ in the flesh is praying to God because his spirit his spirit is God but his body is Jesus 
You get the point? The body that is Jesus is flesh. Oh. That's the flesh of God. Oh. Uh, the way you're asking question is like you, you actually would have a very good understanding if you begin to read recovery books. You have good understanding because you have to read lots and lot of proofs about God. So, <clears throat> and you understand very well. So according to what I say to you now, look at yourself. You were here last time. Why are you not here? I don't know. You must be here. Somebody from this side. Hmm? As you people are standing there, that, that last time they were standing here. And one of them clearly defined that the body, like your body is your, let's say, as a human being now, your body is your son. Your body is your child. Okay, let's use the word child. I don't know. Look, just look at my hands. You see how he's gesticulating? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Who is doing it? Yes, is spirit. it my hand doing it? Yes, sir. Who is doing it? Your spirit, sir. Eh? Your spirit. Yes, the owner of the hand. That is the person talking. The owner of the hand is St. Edmund. So this is his body. So he's his son. If I, for instance, now you were there. You sent your, mess, you sent your feet message. Let's go to the front. That's what you said to your feet. Then you move as you, as you got up. Your feet went to left, right, left, right. Then you are here. So when you finish from here now, will you go back to your place? Will you go back to your seat? Yes, when sir. you finish now? Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Who am I asking this question? Your feet or you? Me, sir. Is it not you who the feet? Yes, sir. Are you not the one to take your feet to that place? Yes, sir. But we don't want to take my feet. Assuming you are sleeping, can you carry your... Can you send your feet? No, sir. If somebody is dead, can the person send the body? No, sir. Because he has left that body. So this body is nothing. Did Jesus say the flesh provided to her? Nothing. nothing. Is it correct? Correct. That's it. So your flesh... Is your son, is your messenger, is your servant. That's why the Lord says, Every one of us shall appear before the judgment seat of Christ to give account of what we have done with our body, body. whether it be good or bad. bad. So, whatever you send your body is what your body will do. Do you understand? Yes, sir. That is the answer to your question. Then go back, Joe, because of time factor. Yes. The Holy Ghost power. The kingdom power. Um, my name is Williams Precious, RBC 35. My question comes from John 4, verse 23 to 24. 24 says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So, sir, I don't understand worshiping God in spirit and in truth. Okay, very good. Keep that question until next uh, Sunday. Just keep it. Don't forget that question. We're going to handle it. So the other classes that we didn't attend to today, by God's grace, we are going to attend to you because the assessment will continue. This assessment going on will always continue. It will continue. So... Um, I want us to rise up now. Rise up now. We are over short today, isn't it? Okay. The, those of you, uh, the instructors, so anytime we call your class, you have to identify with your class. Are you understanding? Identify with your class so that we know so if your class is doing well praise god so when you are instructing 
remind them that there's assessment, so they need to pick up. I want all of us to pray. Um, I learned somebody, you said somebody had accident? Yes, sir. Brother Thomas. I hope he didn't it was, pray. It was after three classes. And, um, no, it, it said the bones didn't. were not broken, but he had um, a sustained injury. Is it that uh, there was no fracture? Silencer bone? Or no, he hit, Okada hit him. He fell. The Lord helped him. The Lord helped him because the wife, he, he, was, he was going with the wife to cross road at oh. a Greek. He there. was not on motorcycle. No. They wanted to cross. They hit him and continued moving. Uh, and when he fell, a trailer was deeper, was coming. They say it was God that just stopped that tipper. Why, why wouldn't God stop the tipper? Yeah. God will stop the tipper. So the thing is, God has helped him. Amen. You have to recognize the work of God. Give your hand to Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes. yes. Amen, brethren. So we have to give uh, glory to God for he did not look well. I also want to use this <clears throat> means to tell every one of us here, nowadays in Nigeria, it's not a place you take a step without looking left and right. The motorcycle alone in this Lagos is almost more than the people in Lagos. And the people riding on this motorcycle have no value for human life. They will hit you, and when they hit you, they are running. They have no address. They have no home. They are strangers. Nobody knows. And nobody invited them to come here. They came in here by force. All right? So, please look left, look right before ever you step. This brother did not do so. So now, you'll be blaming the devil. He be, I don't know what you'll be blaming now. But the Okada riders are right. They are always right. They are never wrong. They are always right. Because where are you going to judge it? Didn't you hear they keep a policeman last time? Is that correct? Was policeman really killed? I, I, don't, don't, I know they fought. The one that happened at barracks. Yes. I know there was a fight, but I don't know if... Um, all right. Any policeman was killed. They, but they fought police. Yes, sir, they uh, fought. That's what I'm saying. Almost so, overpowered them. They had to seek for enforcement from the barracks. Uh, so, you see, they're always right. They can fight anybody. So, please, always look left, look right before you step. Holy Ghost power. The kingdom power. Notwithstanding, pray for his speedy recovery. But this advice, I'm sure God will use, help you to maintain this advice so that you don't fall a victim to this. So, as you uh, pray this prayer, then God will help you and you pray for the summary. Okay, pray in Jesus' name. His name Father, we thank and bless your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray, hand over. Brother Thomas, to your hands, Father. I pray that you help him. Jesus' name we pray. Pray that everything you have had.